Some of you know that I have a heart for fostering, adopting children, helping families that are fostering and adopting. I am an adopted person. I was secretly adopted and I didn't even know it until I was 25 years old. This is some people who have done outrageous adoption of completely beat up, crippled, unwanted people, unwanted children. This is real. You know, this is, this is real. And I saw their little faces, you know, just try and do the best that they could. And, and I just thought, oh my goodness, you know, what have I done? What they had done was put their lives completely in their father's hands. And either he would have to come through for them or they were in big trouble. But then, Dina forged a relationship with some of the local orphanages, and miracles began to happen. This is in China. And doors were open for them that never should have been opened, and they began to receive children from these orphanages that no one else wanted, which, in just a short time, has led to this. Welcome to the home that love built. With hardly any regular funding and month-to-month -month financial miracles, Mike and Dina care for lame, blind, and mostly unadoptable children through their ministry, Loaves and Fishes. They give them an education, care for them, and pour out as much love as they physically can on children no one else deems worthy of love. These children are us, broken, unwanted, overlooked people. Okay, this is Father of Light's film. The director and producer is Darren Wilson. The name of the company is WP Films. And this is an example of some people making an extreme move of faith to just care for souls in little children's bodies. In Isaiah 58, it says, Bring the homeless destitute into your own homes. That means a fasting from self-focus, a fasting from selfishness. But the father shines through two people, and suddenly the child's purpose is made clear. All that is expected of these kids is that they receive the love lavished upon them. Here is just one example of the more than 40 children Mike and Dina care for. Okay. Loaves and Fishes Ministries has a base in Englewood, Florida. If you search Loaves and Fishes Ministries, Mike and Dina, Englewood, Florida, you can actually care directly for people who are directly caring for the poorest of the poor with not a lot of red tape and junk going on. You can find your way in. You can even go to China and work at the orphanage. This little boy was kidnapped from his parents and shipped into the country in a box for three days. The lack of oxygen gave him permanent brain damage. So, we, you know, with him, we've... We feel really honored to have him. We always, you know, think, what if our child was stolen? We know and heard so many stories of people who've had their children stolen from them, and what would we want? You know, of course, we would want to find them, but if we couldn't find them, we would want somebody to honor them, to love them, to care for them. And um, so we count it a great privilege to take care of him in, in the place of his family. There are so many human beings who disappear and never find their way back to family or people that they know. This is a constant reality around the world, disappearing, abused people. We have a job. Our job is not getting involved in politics. Our job is actually being the most awesome family in the neighborhood. That is the example of the early disciples, and that is the example of the most courageous people to take in. Now, yes, there's many, many roles, but this is the hot one.
remember, remember in James, James, the half-brother of Jesus, who grew up with Jesus, said the human habits that God likes the most are watch your mouth, meaning don't get excited about wicked things, meaning don't complain about things that are no big deal. And the second thing is shelter and care for ditched kids in their distress and care for unsheltered women in their distress and do not imitate the bad or lazy or complacent behavior of the people around you, even if they're wearing a, a Jesus t-shirt. B the light. When I asked Dina why she does this for children who won't be able to give anything back, I received an education as well. Right. Well, we believe that God is the giver of life, and that if He chose for a life to be created, that there's purpose in the life. And um, these children have taught us more than probably some of the greatest teachers and preachers of our time about love. God has used them to change the way that we think, the way that we feel, and we're happy. And holding them, I feel God's presence. And holding them, I feel His pleasure. And holding them and loving them, even when they die in my arms, I feel His grace. Even when they die in my arms, I feel his grace. Why would he choose us to do this? I don't know. But there's this knowing that we're in the center of his will for our life. And we know we're only a piece of the puzzle. You know, we're one piece of this amazing puzzle that he's created. And we just want to do our part well. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. Okay, now, that's part one. I'm going to show you part two, which is how these people got into this thing. It is not something that just sort of happened. There was an enormous shift in their entire lives. That's part one.